Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Zed Shelter. Today we find ourselves at Shelter 13, and we're essentially going to go around and see what kind of blueprints we can get from Shelter 13. And what other uh, things we can get from the chest, I only have with me yellow and green. I don't have enough yet for the red bottle caps, but we'll see what those two things are going to get, get us. And of course, we just got a couple uh, little boys here we're going to have to get out of our way first. A little bit of an overkill on that guy. That's okay. We'll overkill this. Oh, I wanted to go through that gap. We'll overkill this guy too. Bop. And if we can sneak up to this guy here, it also will be a one hit acquitta for the engineer. Easy peasy. And we don't really have to go into those rooms. They usually have absolutely nothing for you. Nothing of, of real benefit. Okay, so this is where we'll drop off our bottle caps and we'll see what we get. Usually the green bottle caps give you pretty much nothing of, of any significant value. So this is good. Shotgun shells, the adrenaline shots are good. Always good to get armor. This is uh, garbage. No need for that. I have so much med stuff. It doesn't really matter. Nails is always good. And then uh, some weapons things are half bad, are, uh, half decent. Some leather. And the rest of this kind of is pointless for the rest of our adventures. And for the green, I'm expecting it not to really be any better. Got some nails, which is good. More adrenaline shots. A couple more health things. Some ammo. Some more leather. But the rest of this, really, overall, in the grand scheme of things, not really going to be much worth coming back to. But we'll worry about cleaning house and collecting all the goods after we're done killing everything. So to start, we're just going to go around and uh, get everybody. And usually it's the butchers that will be giving you the the blueprints very rarely will you get them from floaters and really this big spider still no updates that we can go and fight this so I still have no idea what this is for I'm sure the fl flamethrower would be epic to use against that but we're never gonna really know are we okay open this up Thanks for helping, Brutus. You are one of a kind. Machete is just so OP, though. Once you start upgrading it, it is just so good. It's it's definitely my go-to melee. It's easy to produce. It's not very expensive. It's just it's perfect. I'm not gonna take a lot of stuff. I'm kind of gonna focus on just grabbing blueprints and things of that nature. Oh, don't shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Mostly just because um, I can just come back and grab everything. And the majority of the things we'll be picking up here are not going to be groundbreaking items. It's really just going to be the blueprints that are going to be the uh, big money items here for us. Okay, while well his goop is dissipating, we will just go take care of these guys here. Probably gonna have nothing good. Ah, it's got some meat. We'll eat that. Like I said, we'll come back and clean up the rest of the pieces later. I do want to take my advanced crystals. Just so that way I can continue to upgrade weapons and things of that nature. But again, a lot of this stuff is not really worth... Uh, us filling up right now. The fence will be worth coming back to, but the rest of it is just not. And uh, yeah, we're done with the little opening bit here, and off we go to go deeper into Shelter 13. Now, if, if some of you guys have never come to Shelter 13, uh, you'll notice I'm already level capped at 40. My experience bar won't go up. But if you need experience points, this is the place to go. Uh, this might have been a bad idea. But 
We'll see if he does big damage to us or not. That was kind of reckless, to be honest. It helps that I have half decent armor on so they don't do a lot of damage. But typically you want to do a little bit more running from those guys than uh, what we did there. Putrefire. You have batteries. That's actually half decent. Another crystal and some more armor weapons items. So all those are those are typically worth taking home. Sometimes these guys have hoses. Hoses are worth it, at least for me for right now. I need them to upgrade some of my weapons. Before you even get to stand up, I'm already putting you on the ground. And this usually just has food items in it. Yeah, we'll, we'll eat some jam here. We'll have some health. We'll, oh, we don't need it. And yeah, we'll leave all that stuff to come pick it up later. And really, none of them really end up standing a chance once you've uh, upgraded enough. Okay, we'll have to come deal with that stuff later. Although I've pretty much used up all of my machete, which is kind of sad. It is one of my favorite weapons. But that just means we just get to uh, change over to a different one. A slightly bigger weapon. And one thing you do want to do is you want to run over here and uh, press the button so that way it completes this bridge. So that way when the butchers are chasing you, you have another route to loop around if you need to. Okay, so there's a bunch of spiders there. So to deal with them, I think I'm just going to use a nice good old shotgun blast. Mostly because it'll do damage to many of them. And it should kill most of them in one shot. Especially if I get their attention first. Just like this. Hey. There we go. That's the big money shot we wanted. We killed four in one go there. Would have been better if I didn't have to take so many shots, but tis what it is. And then we got a floater in here, which really kind of a joke, especially with upgraded weapons like the pistol that I have. I'm pretty sure it's a four star plus five, so I mean it's doing 74 damage a shot, which is I think over almost two, three times. Well, that's probably two and a half times as much damage as it normally would do. And you can just see it doesn't really stand a chance against our weaponry. Okay, so we got another Drellin shot, which we're not going to use. We'll take the food, we'll eat the jam, and then we'll eat the pumpkin. That should get us... Oh, we're so close to full health. I'm not going to use that. Uh, that'll be a waste to use that for this. Oh, we should go see what the floater had. I totally forgot. And nothing really of significant value. Okay. So now, one of the tricks, if you have an AK, to help you through this spot, because I know it was one of those spots that made, was more difficult for me when I first started, is there's a machine gun down here. And if you take your AK, you should be able to outrange it. See, so I can shoot it here and kill it, and I'll be good. The other thing that you can do is you can run around it. If you're good enough, you should not have a problem to do this. But essentially, you have to stay right on the outside wall, and you should be able to run all the way around the machine gun without it shooting. So you want to stay like on the outside wall, so you want to be on this blue as far over as you can. And you should be able to run all the way to this corner and open up this door. And just like that, you can get past this machine gun without ever having to actually interact with it. But we're going to kill it for our own ease. And usually, ah, it does have a red. But usually it had a control system in there too that you'd be able to benefit from. This time it did not. We'll, uh, we'll eat some... Oh, I should take this back to make the roast corn. Because I need to make roast corn, don't I? Uh, just collecting corn. Jam, barbecue. I have not completed all of these tasks yet, but... 
I try to do them where I can. And I think that is all we're going to do from this one here. So now, there is a butcher here. There is another floater. We could engage this butcher right now, which I'd prefer not to. I prefer to see if I can kind of get them all together and then flame them. Because I th there's two that run around on the outsides. Is there three? I can't remember. It would just be three. But we'll, we'll kill all the other enemies first and then we'll go over and we'll take on the uh, the butchers. Okay, so he's got to be a little bit patient here. These guys have all turned around now and we'll be able to get at least a couple of them on a sneak attack. You want to do something here for me, uh, Brutus boy? No, Lucille is not uh, the strongest of weapons. Oh, I totally forgot about the putrefier here. Well, he's attacking Brutus, and I'll turn Brutus off just when he gets close to killing him. I think Brutus can take two. Oh! Okay, Brutus, don't get poisoned. Thank you, Brutus. I don't want to keep you as a distraction if I need to. But we'll keep you healthy there, boy. Ah, so there's the second one. I can't remember where the third one would be if there was a third one. Oh yes, the third one is usually inside the the lab. We'll, uh, or at least the prison lab area. I That's how I refer to it. It might not actually be the lab, but that's the name I've given it. I probably... You know, could have been a little bit more stealthy to than just running straight through the flame. But I didn't care. Oh yeah, this is a floater. Whoops, totally forgot. How does he not get any flame damage? He should definitely have fire damage. I don't want him to get to the intersection because the butcher might be on his way back. I don't think he is. At least he's not here yet, but he's definitely on his way. Oh, never collect these. They're the worst. They don't do you any good. Um, are we going to go finish? We might as well go and empty out the uh, this path. I think it's another putrefier here. Ah, oh, just an earth shaker. Where is this other putrefier? I think this guy's the other putrefier, isn't it? Yes, it is. I should have uh, saved a different weapon for this guy, or at least used a different one. But I just figured I'd use up the Lucille first. Okay, so he's dealt with, and honestly, we'll use up that medicine again, that blue block is kind of shit, so we're not going to deal with that at all. More jam, we'll definitely eat that, eat the meat, ah, oh, I don't need to, my health is full, I did not expect my health to be full. Okay, so, we'll go and turn both of these guns on, Bruce is off, okay, because, oh, I forgot that. Get out of his range. Okay. I thought it was just floaters. I forgot that the spitters were here too. Once this gun is out, I will use my blade runner. And I just find life easier when I use the weapons. At least the, the guns rather than... Uh, Rather than using melee weapons, it's just it's quicker. Doesn't take as much time. Yeah, it's gonna use some more resources, but I have lots of uh, pistol ammo that I'm not really worried about uh, collecting anymore. I can just use up as much as I'd like. 
This Blade Runner is just insane. Once you get a couple and you can actually upgrade it, I mean, I'm doing 101 damage that quickly. He got one spit attack off before we actually just roasted him into the ground. And we got pretty much nothing for it. So this chest over here in the top left corner that you see, it is, I guess, somewhat of a special chest, you would say. It actually has a lock and key to it. I think I've written it down before. I'm pretty sure it's the same and never changes, but uh, we're going to have to go and actually find out what that uh, key code is. We'll have to come back there to see what's in there. Usually it's um, higher tier weapons, so I would say majority of the time it's worth going down there to go get it. Um, but I don't recall ever actually having blueprints from that uh, box. So now that we've pretty much used up all of our melee weapons, we'll finish off Lucille here. In their next seg uh, section of baddies. Which we are going into the area now where we'll get the code for that chest. And then once we're done clearing out all of these guys, because they should be activating a butcher... Okay, I want to be inside this though, because I don't want the butcher to come in. I do not want to have to fight the butcher in a small room. No thanks. Okay, so he hasn't seen us, which is good. We'll be able to take care of these last little bits, and then we should be able to take on the last uh, butchers that are here and they will all get a piece of my flamethrower. Some more water, eat some stuff, use some bandages, get back up to full health, no big deal, easy peasy. Okay, go back to Lucille, open up the door, and what do we have? Nice good old engineer, good old dead engineer. He is dead there. Then let's go, let's go take care of all of these suckers. I probably could have just used the shotgun and uh, one shot at all of them, but not what we got. So our last melee weapon is actually a signpost, which I just got in the lucky chest today. And I'm going to essentially use it so that way I can just utilize it for... Uh, upgrading my my other signpost. So there we go. That's our code for that chest six nine two one. Once we use that over there, we'll be able to open up that box of goodies and see what's going on over there. There's a bunch of zombies here, so we want to just dispatch of all of them, just like that. That way, we'll entice this. Uh, butcher down there to come fight us and then oh I guess I should take care of those spiders up here too but for now I have to wait because that butcher's there we're gonna kind of just take it rid of and get rid of these last couple guys here and then we'll be able to go after the butchers and then we'll uh, once we've done the butchers then we'll go over to the center room which unlocks the control room in the front that has a couple chests in it that never really have anything of good value okay so they're, they're all dead I don't want to open up that can of worms with that butcher yet you're dead 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 and there's a couple more down here which again will be no big deal killed killed dead 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 and then this guy here takes us back to the start which we'll utilize later and over here is a uh, level 3 turret I've killed it once I've looked at the chest and it was garbage materials so I've decided to never go after it again just because um, I kind of didn't want to waste my time for that anymore so here we go we have now locked and loaded oh, I guess we'll look at the chest first but we're, we're pretty much ready to take on these butchers, which are going to be the only thing that will be giving us our blueprints down here anyway. So that's uh, kind of the, the whole main reason we're even here. Excuse me, sir. You're going to be chasing me now. 
I don't know for how long, but you are. And this guy's going to. But in the meantime, kill you. So he'll run out of there, and then I don't have to worry about opening the door, and he'll chase me. I don't know for how long. But, uh, but we're going to get this guy chasing after us. Ah, there they are. It's going to be one big old butcher party. Look at that. I wonder if I can blast him through the wall. Probably not, but it's going to get a little noisy here, I think. Well, we have all of these uh, lovely butcher friends here chasing after us. Careful. I got a little bit too adventurous there. I have to slow this front guy up a little bit so that way the back guys can join him. Okay. We'll just burn these guys down a little bit. Come on, move, 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 move. So they've actually damaged my boots now, which is kind of no good. Nope. How did he reach me? Oh, I didn't move. Okay, I got lucky. Okay, how's that a miss? I hate when the flamethrower misses. Okay, they're gonna... <laughs> if they would have just all been synced up, that would have been excellent. But they're way out of sync now. Which is gonna make this so much more harder. And I've really screwed these two guys up too. Yep, they are so far out of sync now, it's not even funny. Okay, I might have a chance to get them count somewhat close again. Nope. Ouch. Oh, I gotta move. No, I was being too. Uh, I was being too uh, candid with my movements here, and they pretty much destroyed all of my armor, which really sucks. I'll have to uh, fix all of that later. That is not the way I wanted that to go down, but you know, sometimes they get you. Especially when you're taking on three butchers at once, and then using a weapon like the uh, flamethrower, where you kind of end up being stationary for two quite a long time. But we should have all of them over here somewhere close by for us to uh, flamethrower all together again. Just the two of them. Did I kill one of them? I wonder if I killed one of them. Come on, move, 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 move. Nope, I didn't. He's still alive. He's just in there. Oh well, that one is dead. Okay, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. I know I don't typically like to fight two of them at once, but I'm gonna lead him in there. Honestly, I don't think he's gonna make it. No, he did not. What did you have for us? So we got a special forces helmet design, which we're now one away from getting that one, which is excellent. Okay, it kind of sucks that we've now wasted those spots because now we can't really put anything in them. So it's going to make the collection process a little bit harder. Oh yeah, and what do you got for us? Special Forces Armor, which we've already fully learnt, which kind of sucks, because we don't get many blueprints from here, so to get one that we already have, kind of a letdown. 
The last big old bad boy here is giving us the samurai sword, which is actually good because now we're at 12 of 20 there. So we're much closer there and we're very close to the special forces helmet. And then we'll actually have all the special forces stuff unlocked once we get that one. And uh, yeah, we're getting close to actually unlocking all of the blueprints, which is kind of good. Now we just got to throw the shotgun on because we have a very special mission to use this for. And uh, this, this is pretty much the best weapon, especially if you have knockback on for this next portion. You either need an AK, M16, or the shotgun. That makes all of this super easy. But this is a nice little room in the middle that has the uh, control board to unlock the room at the start of Shelter 13. So we're going to get bombarded by baddies here, which is where you use the shotgun for. Yes, it's a little bit of, of overkill for some of these guys, but effectively what you don't want to have happen is you don't want to be got by this guy because he'll make your life hell because you won't be able to run away from all these people and you'll just get cornered and beat up. So what the shotgun allows you to do, especially with knockback, is put down big damage against them and then also keep them at bay by uh, pushing them backwards. And then especially if you can get them to kind of sync up and stand beside each other, it makes life a bit easier. And then once you're at this point, I probably don't have to use a shotgun anymore, but you know, I kind of already started down that path, so I just finished it that way. Now overall, the stuff you're going to get from these people, it's not always that great. Hopefully we can get something good from the floaters, but uh, I don't believe that's going to be the case. Yeah, I mean, at least we're getting that and we're getting some copper, right? Getting the crystals and some copper. Big boy there has got nothing for us. This guy, again, the same stuff. I guess isn't that bad. We got a little chest over here. Usually, you know, it's garbage, garbage chest. And yeah, it's because of that. Now look at that. We got water and food and coils. And the alcohol is super easy to make. And then this guy here, the door of the storeroom in the front open area there is now open, which is why we pretty much came to this area. And now we essentially uh, will go back up there and we'll see what we get in that storage room. Sometimes you get drawings, sometimes you don't. Hopefully we do. It's a bit of a bit of a boot all the way over there, but you know we'll do it. We'll get her done. Okay, so now we're kind of back to where we need to be for that room. So this is a storage room right up here. That door is now open and there's two chests here. Let's see, what do we got? Special Forces armor design, which we already have. Oh yes, not all of this stuff is killer equipment. That is for sure. What, what else can you do? You get what you get. So far, nothing really. That chest. And this one, Canadian flag, but Special Forces helmet de design fragment. Bam. Done. We now have unlocked all of the Special Forces armor. We have the helmet, the armor, the pants, the boots. We can craft that stuff if only it wasn't so stupid expensive. And the rest of this stuff, ah, it is what it is. I already have this design too, so I can't learn that. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We got really only three designs out of all of that in Shelter 13. So this is a spot that you can go and get designs, but if you're strictly looking for designs, Nothing beats the old town, and that's where you should go for the uh, for the designs, really, in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.